Uh, mm. I, I put an enormous amount of effort in my semantic models for them to be structured, labeled and named very cleanly. You'll see no mm -hmm. underscores or, or any of that kind of stuff in mind. And then there's spaces in the names. It's very business centric. The semantic model is intended to be giving the data back to the customer. Um, and every time I build it, I'm like, hey, guess what? You can fully self-service whenever you want. Create your own reports. Oh, man, it's like pushing a boulder up a hill, trying to actually yeah. get people to do it. I'm like, you can do it in Excel. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to take Excel off your hands. You can just connect to this thing and look what you can. And also Power BI Desktop, you can connect to the same model. And guess what? They're singing off the same hymn sheet. You've heard of the term single source of truth. Well, this is it. It's right there. And it's like tumbleweeds. And I, it, it boggles my mind the value that, a customer can get on top of the suite of reports that you create, which are kind of periodic reports, my monthly, my weekly, here's my trend of this, that, and the other. But what about right now when something that I'm trying to find is in that data and I'm not getting it because I don't know how to get it out? I think there is an enormous amount of unlocked or trapped potential in semantic mm. models that is being missed. 